This is Pastor Rodney. This morning I want to talk to you on the topic, Don't Waste Your Time. Don't Waste Your Time. You know, I've always known that time is such a valuable resource. And if we're not careful, we can spend our days, our months, and our years thinking about the things that we want, but never exerting the energy and the effort, the perseverance and the tenacity to follow through. You know, it's almost like the proverbial saying, being of jack of all trades, but master of none. So many of us, we desire things. We want for things. We wish for things. We hope for things. But the question is, are we allowing for things in our lives and people in our lives to waste our time? The Word of God tells us to teach us to number our days that we might apply our hearts to wisdom. We need wisdom each and every day of our lives, especially even in this time, this time when there is chaos everywhere, civil unrest, emotional disturbances and sickness and disease and climatic changes around the world and things that are happening destruction everywhere, rumors of wars and wars, fighting and debates and division. It's everywhere. So now more than ever, we need wisdom, especially the wisdom of God. That's why the Word of God tells us that if any of you lack wisdom, if you feel you need more wisdom, let him ask God who will give it to you freely and he won't hold it back. He'll give you as much as you want. Wisdom is the ability to know the difference between how to use your knowledge and understanding most effectively. That's why I love what the Lord said through the prophet Isaiah. In Isaiah chapter 55, he says, Is anyone thirsty? Come and drink. Even if you have no money, Come, take your choice of wine or milk. It's all free. Why spend your money on food that does not give you strength? Why pay for food that does you no good? Listen to me and you will eat what is good. You will enjoy the finest food. Come to me with your ears wide open. Listen and you will find life. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. I will give you all the unfailing love I promised to David. You see, because God wants to make your life more abundantly than what it is right now. And everything that you're going through, it's going to work for your good. If you just allow for the wisdom of God to come into your heart so that you can make wiser to choices, wiser decisions. So this morning, I want us to focus on, Lord, give us wisdom so that we don't waste any more time. That we can forget those things which are behind us so that we can press forward to the mark of the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. So this morning, come on, pray with me as we ask God for wisdom. Heavenly Father, we come before you in Jesus' name, asking you for the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding to traverse this land, this life, and this day. For God, there are so many things in our lives that are designed to trip us up and to make us fall. But God, I pray in Jesus' name that you would give us wisdom today. Teach us what we ought to do, what we ought to say, where we ought to go, and where we should not go. And give us the strength, Lord God, to walk in your wisdom. We thank you, for wisdom comes from you. 
and we glorify you for it. So thank you for wisdom. In Jesus' name, we pause, we reflect, and we emerge to life. In Jesus' name.